It's not just plug in and play. At this week's Code Club in Chilowit, youth are encouraged to create as well. Using a program called Scratch, kids are given the opportunity to make their own computer games. Earlier this week, they recorded traditional throat singing and then used their new coding skills to create remixes of the samples. It's been fun and we've been, um, it's hard, it's challenging. It's frustrating at times, very, very, very frustrating at times, but it's fun, it's fun. The program's goal is to arm youth with skills for the digital economy and to have fun while they're doing it. But Pingwalk's director says he has a long-term vision as well. Part of what we are doing is building a sustainable curriculum that can exist beyond any one person teaching it. So some sort of curriculum for computer science that allows people to access it either on their own or part of classrooms or part of these clubs held in their own communities. So is it difficult? No, it's easy. Since winning the Arctic Inspiration Prize, Pingwa has expanded. They're planning on doing code cups like this in at least two more communities in the coming months. And they partnered with Industry Canada to provide refurbished laptops for the kids to use while they're here and also to take home when they're done. And all the kids are going to be leaving with new skills, their own hardware, and hopefully a brighter future. Kieran Alter on CBC News, Ichaluit.